Hey, greetings, everybody. I apologize. I'm still learning how to use my phone, so there won't be any pictures or videos today. Enjoy the show. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Today is Thursday, and it's almost the weekend. I hope you guys enjoyed my show on yesterday. I know I do appreciate you guys sharing uh, and talking about my videos. You guys are still not commenting. I don't know what I do. I need to take my clothes off to make, make y'all comment. No, I'm not. But anyway, make sure you comment on my videos. You know, just say a little something, something, something. Come on now. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. But I do appreciate you guys watching because my views are going up. And uh, the more you share my videos, the better it helps me. It's better than a cash app. So make sure that you share my videos. Welcome to the show. I'm PT. It's the latest entertainment news and gossip. What I do, I have news you can use. It will always be number five and then we'll do the top four. So it is the top five. But I just, some things that's in the news, I just have to talk about. Oh, Lord, you wait till <laughs> what? You wait until you hear what I can talk about today. Yes, some of you guys, if you're following me on my other channel, PT's TV, well, I did tell everybody this. I did uh, switch uh, phone services and I have an iPhone. Yes, yeah, so I can FaceTime you now, Lunel. <laughs> but anyway, well, uh, the service they had in my hometown, it's only one phone uh, place here where you can actually go get service for your phone. And um, there's like a cricket store like across the street from where I live. And uh, I was kind of wondering why my service was like, it really sucked. And uh, because when I was in Houston, of course, it was a lot better because that's Houston. But uh, since I switched over to cricket, which, you know, I hadn't had any problems and the service is good. And they gave me a phone, an iPhone for 40, for 50 bucks. So why the hell not? Okay. And well, welcome to the show. Um, again, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the show on yesterday. Continue sharing the videos. Um, even if it's an old video, new video, please continue sharing. Please co co uh, please continue commenting. Y'all comment like Greg. Oh, it will be on and popping. All right. Um, here's a few things I want to talk about before I go into the show. Don't forget March the 5th. Uh, coming to America 2, the premiere will be coming out. So make sure you guys have your Amazon Prime downloaded and uh, let's get ready to watch it with some popcorn. Okay, hopefully it's cold that day and I'm going to have my fireplace going. And of course, I'm going to do a review afterwards. Okay, um, uh, let's see what else. And don't forget this Saturday at 530, I am having a fundraiser for my friend Mark, who's dealing with cancer. So you guys, uh, please tune in. His auntie said she is going to match what PT makes. So if I make 500, honey, she gonna match it. Okay. So you guys tune in. That's going to be this Saturday right here on this channel because it's a fundraiser. And then we're going to turn right around Sunday and I'm going to make me some more money. Oh yeah. Cause it's time for me to get my ticket to Atlanta beach. Oh, it's time for the turn up. It's time for the birthday celebration. And I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. The tickets are real cheap right now on uh, Southwest is like 140, something like that. 150. I'm trying to figure out where's these $50 tickets that they be advertising. <laughs> oh, hold on, I'm looking for something. Oh, I got my PT's punch right here. I was looking for the stimulus checks. <laughs> Shame. <laughs> Number five today, news you can use. You're not going to believe what this man in Oklahoma did. Shout out to Risky Business and the whole family in Oklahoma. I hope you all listen to this. This is horrible. Nelly, um, he got his uh, mansion sold. <laughs> it's getting hot in here. So take off. Oh, please take off all your clothes, Nelly. I'm sorry, y'all. I had to say it. All right, number three, Diana Ross. Should she be doing new music? I'll tell you what I think. And of course, number two, Pac-Man Jones. Oh, child, he did knock somebody unconscious and got to fighting it. <laughs> He's a former NFL football player. I'm going to tell y'all about that. Of course, number one, Ray J, sit your ass down somewhere. Tell me he could be friends with Kanye Mess. <laughs> We're going to talk about that too. Let's get... Okay. <laughs> oh, here we go, y'all. By the way, y'all, I still have no water. Yes, it'll be a week tomorrow. Today, by the time you guys get this. A week today, Thursday. They said the water's supposed to be on tomorrow, Friday. <laughs> they need to knock some off the rent. <laughs> Put me in a hotel or something. Ugh, what a mess. God is good, though, you know, because I could have been dead and in my grave. <laughs> Let me move on to number five. Um, there is a man, well, I won't call him a man, a fool by the name of Paul Anderson. He's been accused. Well, no, they've been accused. He did. He murdered Andrea Lynn the Blankenship and the uncle, and the four-year-old niece triple murder. 
He's 42 years old. He confessed to the murders. He said he forced the family to eat the heart before killing them. He was um, he was um, heard in the courtroom. He was crying and he was, you know, oh, Your Honor, Your Honor, please don't give me, don't give me a, a, a bail. You don't need no damn bail. And if they do give you bail, yes, please give him a bail so they can kill his butt on the streets. So he's facing three counts of first degree murder, one count of assault and battery. Now, cannibalism is not a crime in Oklahoma City. <laughs> oh, Lord, don't y'all go down and go to eat, folks. But so he won't be charged for that. So, yeah, he was, uh, he won't be charged for that and feeding the neighbors his relatives' hearts. This is horrible, y'all. This is straight God awful. I tell you, you just, and, and the man, the man has been in and out of trouble on drugs and stuff. I, I, this is a situation where I wish I could have just been there and just, just killed him. I wish I could have just happened to, happened to, walk and see something and just, you know, don't you wish sometimes you wish you could just be there to help somebody? But I wasn't. And this is a horrible situation. That man is sick. They're, they're seeking the death penalty. They need to. You see, this is one of those situations where you just do the, the, the death squad, where they put their ass out there and just let them fire over their ass. I mean, I know this sounds cool, but look what he did. He actually went and... Uh, cut out the folks' heart and fed it to the family members. And he forced them, I forgot to tell y'all, he forced them to eat the hearts with potatoes, honey. Mm, 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 this is horrible. Mm. Anyway, I just wanted to give y'all some news that you can use. That's in Oklahoma, if you don't believe me. Look it up. Let's talk about number four, Nelly. Nelly. Here's the latest on Nelly. Uh, Nelly had been trying to sell this mansion for quite some time, over two years. Uh, Nelly's such a handsome guy. I really genuinely like Nelly. I really thought that he was going to win uh, Dancing with the Stars. I really did think he was going to win. He he really, really is a really, really handsome guy. Seems to be a pretty genuine guy. But, you know, Nelly has had some problems in the past. There's been some sexual assault things that come up. But, also, you know, he's he's, he's he's just like you and I. You know, we, people make mistakes and stuff. Um, but anyway, uh, so he had been trying to sell this mansion for over two years. Well, he finally got a buyer. And this person bought the mansion for six hundred thousand. Six hundred thousand—that's cheap, you know. But there's a lot of work that needs to be done to this mansion. See, and I tell people all the time: when you become famous, or if you if you happen to win, speaking of winning the lottery, I played the lottery tonight, and I need to check my numbers. Yes, I mean, how much is it? It's more than I got. I don't hate people say, "How much is the lottery?" It's more than you got. Well, if I win tonight, and uh, and I find out tomorrow, y'all. Four million four hundred sixty thousand. Yeah, almost five million. Yeah, I could. Yeah, I could do that. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, I tell people all the time: just because you have money, don't go out and just start buying stuff. Because you know, invest it. You know, invest the money. I'll tell you what my dad told me. Not my stepfather who raised me, but my biological father. Shout out to Mr. Johnson. Uh, he told me this a long time ago. Invest. Uh, invest your money into real estate. Yeah. He told me to invest the money into real estate because somebody gonna always need a place to live. Now, you got to deal with the headaches and stuff. You know, if you got a, uh, if you have a weak heart, Desi. <laughs> My cousin Desi, if you got a weak heart, <laughs> she said she could never do that because she don't, she like to put nobody out. Oh, child, Bob. I wouldn't want to put nobody out either, but they need to pay their damn rent. And people do follow hard times and stuff. But there's some people during the COVID. There was uh, some, some people during the COVID. They got them uh, stimulus checks, went out and bought rims and cars. Mm -hmm. What do you even think about paying their rent? <laughs> so some people, some people put themselves in those positions. They do. What a mess. So I'm glad that he got his soul and uh, kudos to uh, Nelly. We all genuinely love Nelly. And I, I just, it, the, if I'm trying to show pictures of the, of the mansion. It's a beautiful place. It just needs a lot of work. But this is the perfect time to, to invest in, you know, in, in real estate and stuff right now if you have money because right now stuff is real cheap. See, you know what? See, God don't like ugly, y'all. See, they was doing all this uh, judification or whatever called gentrification and all this stuff. <laughs> you know, they, you know, taking over these black neighborhoods and these poor neighborhoods and you know, fixing them up and everything. See, now they can't afford it because they lost folks is losing their job. See, karma. Mm -hmm. 
You understand what I'm saying? So it is what it is. So congratulations to Nelly for uh, selling that <laughs> mansion after two years. Let's talk about Diana Ross. Well, Donna Ross, uh, she wants to give us new music. Well, let's think about that. What do you guys think? You think Donna Ross should give us some new music? I do. Listen, th listen, we don't have that many more legends that's still around from the 50s and 60s. We've lost, uh, of course, you know, we've, we, we've lost um, Aretha. You know, we've lost a singer. So we've lost Aretha. We lost Natalie. You know, we still have Gladys Knight. Speaking of Gladys Knight, she's going to be singing at the All-Star. She's going to be singing the National Anthem at the All-Star. Um, and so we don't have that many more legends around. And God, I really, really, because she said she missed going to, doing the concerts and stuff. That's all she's done all her life. Of course, Whitney wasn't from the 60s, but, you know, she's gone. Oh, Whitney, Whitney, Whitney. Y'all, please don't do drugs. Don't do drugs. And I think this is a good thing. Will we listen to the music? I will. Even Melba Moore. Shout out to Melba Moore. I love Melba Moore. I, I like, you know, I need to, I want to interview her. Um, she's She's got new music, but you know, I'm a huge fan of her old music because we did those songs at the club, you know, the drag, we call them drag music, drag songs, even Donna Ross. But I think if Donna Ross, if you're a true fan of Ross, and listen, I think Ross is good enough to where she could come up with something new now to slay everybody. Even though we still like the old stuff, listen, maybe Donna Ross, she had a, a, a wake, maybe she had a, 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 a wake up call, you know, especially after um, one of the Supremes, you know, Mary just died. You know what I mean? This is make you want to, that's what I tell, I tell people all the time. That's why I push, 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 and push, and push, and push. Because you just don't never know when you're going to leave here. You don't know. So you just have to push like you ain't going to never push before. I think so. I think this would be a great idea for Ross. And I hope and pray one day. And Gary with the T loves. Speaking of Gary, I talked to Gary the other day. He's doing good. Um, um, Donna Ross uh, is a legend. And let the woman live. Whitney, uh, Wendy disagrees. She she feel like she she don't want the new music. Wendy, I love you, but no, go, go to hell. <laughs> In a good way. I just think we should let these legends do what they want to do because once they're gone, y'all, that's it. And I mean to tell you, y'all, I want to see Ross so bad. I want to go see Ross so bad. But they say them tickets are high as giraffe pussy, honey. <laughs> well, you could probably get you a little $50 seat, but you'd be way in the back. Oh, hold on, I have a celebrity guest. Yes. Who is that? <laughs> What's going on, Evan Ross? How you doing? Mm. Yes, I'm talking about your mother. Uh-uh, Tracy's over there too. Hey, Tracy, girl. How y'all doing? What y'all doing over in the gold room? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, your mom, she could, she, she, don't listen to Wendy. Wendy, I hate her. But I love Wendy. But I'm just saying, she, your mama can do whatever she want to do. In her, she's, in her late 70s, let her do whatever. She is the boss, Evan, with your cute self. Mm, you still with that girl, that white girl. Mm. All right, Evan, I'll holler at you later. Uh, take care of Tracy. Bye, y'all. Y'all be good. Bye-bye. <laughs> take care. Bye. <laughs> yeah, I have celebrity guests over in the gold room. <laughs> they talk to me in my little earpiece. <laughs> so, so kudos to uh, Ross. Push it through, honey. Speaking of push it through, Pac-Man Jones, former NFL football player. Girl, he got into a fight in a club. <laughs> And it was mayhem, honey. <laughs> Got the fighting. Well, here's his side of the story. And I'm going to be on his side. Because I'm going to tell you, I know some bouncers could, that could be bitches, okay? Some of you bouncers out there are bitches. But I'm just like, can we just all come to the club and just have a good time? That's why PT is not working right now. Because y'all hoes fight too damn much. In the gay clubs, the straight clubs. just Ooh, this damn hip-hop just didn't ruin us, honey. <laughs> just didn't ruin our community. This mess. Shoot that bitch in the ass. Fuck that hoe in the ass. And all that mess. Sit down somewhere. What about it? Come along and ride on a fantastic voyage. See, that's stuff to make you want to dance. Not shoot nobody. Anyway, let me move on with this uh, Pac-Man Jones. So he was in the club uh, last Monday, this past Monday. Late. You know, nothing goes down good at 12 and 1 o'clock <laughs> at night. So supposedly so he's saying that something happened. I really want to show the video, but I can't. He said that something happened 
um, the week before that, and they got into it with the bouncers and everything. And I know some bouncers that can really butthole, be buttholes. And supposedly, he said that the bouncer had been drinking. First of all, that's strike one. No bouncer or no employee should be drinking on the job. Okay, because when you get full of alcohol, you're not being yourself and you're being somebody that you're not. You're either going to be nice when you get full of alcohol or you're going to feel like you're the shit when you get full of alcohol. And apparently this bastard thought he was the shit when uh, the, it was the, it was Pac-Man Jones and his brother and a few of them. They uh, they went out. They went out and went, went to come back in and the bell someone let him in. Why would you not let this man come back in? Why? because of something that happened the week before. So, oh, Pac-Man Jones, you know, y'all know what the Pac-Man game is, to push through, you know, so he decided he wanted to push through. <laughs> he pushed through. And next thing you know, honey, they went to fight. Oh, just fight like, I would say cats and dogs, but cats and dogs get a lot better than some of these Negroes in the club. So they got to fighting, and Pac-Man Jones beat this man unconscious, as they say, beat him to a pulp. Ain't that a mess? Beat him to a pulp, honey. <laughs> what Pac-Man Jones say, it's, it's, it's something that's been ongoing. Y'all should have went to another damn club. If it was something that was ongoing, why the hell you just, you ain't doing nothing but just stirring up the pot. <laughs> anyway, y'all. So he was arrested and everything, and I, I don't know. He said he was taking up for his brother. I mean, that's just something that you do if your brother, somebody getting into with your brother. Well, supposedly he said that he went to go talk to the DJ. That's a no-no in the club. You don't go talk to the DJ. You don't go up to the DJ. Well, I wonder if they knew who Pac-Man Jones was. Maybe not. Because you'd be surprised who you see that a celeb that person is a celebrity or a football player or whatever, and you don't really know that they're celebrities. I went and got a haircut one time when I was in Houston, and this guy was in there. He played for some huge NFL football team, and he was huge. He um, And I remember him driving up here. It was, a, it was like a Bentley or something. I was like, damn, who is this? And the, the, the barber guy told me he was an NFL football player. So you don't never really know uh, who these people are. You don't never know who you're running to. There's some people who are celebrities that are behind the scenes celebrities. There's people who are writers and other. So you just have to treat everybody, you know, with a little kindness. You know, some bouncers can be bitches, I know. Bouncers can, they, they act like they're the real police. <laughs> okay, let's move on. <sighs> Speaking of the police, this next person needs to be arrested. Let's talk about Ray J. This is gonna be number one. Now, Ray J, you know, he I have a love-hate relationship with him. Now, as you know, no, Kim and Kanye is no longer going to be together. And, you know, as you know, Ray J was with Kim before Kanye mess. I'm going to call Ray J. What am I going to call Ray J? Uh, something. I'll come up with a name. The Kanye name is Kanye mess. Okay. So he's saying now that him and Kanye could be friends. Oh, what a mess. You mean after you said you hit it first, you think Kanye would want to be your friend? Oh, yeah. Kanye would be his friend because that's how stupid Kanye is. Oh yeah, stupid, cuckoo, crazy. But me, as a if I was a man, straight man, well, gay or straight, I wouldn't be friends with nobody that talked about my wife like that. No, 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 no. Ex or by period. Ray just said, oh, they got that so much in common, women, clothes, I mean, women and money and, yeah. well, I don't know, maybe I could be wrong. I'm sure uh, Ray J got money, but I don't know if he had, I don't know if he have Kanye Mets money. Because Kanye got corn. Dude. He's a billionaire, I believe. Mm -hmm. That's why he's crazy, all that money he got. What he needs to do, Kanye needs to lose all that money. Uh-huh. He needs to lose that money and realize and realize where he came from. So he he just forgot. You know, some people get all that money and forget where they come from. Mm-hmm. Forget where you come. Forget how to go to the local store. Mm-hmm. And buy, you know, stuff for two or three, four or five dollars. Yeah. Kanye already been having problems with paying the church members he had problems with Kanye's crazy Con crazy Kanye and Ray J you you know and Ray J is you know a fool for saying he wanted to be friends with him because they got so much in common excuse me I'm sorry but Kanye would definitely be his friend because Kanye ain't got no friends y'all bless his heart well it's alleged that he was sleeping with this uh, I don't know if this is an artist some type of celebrity to dress in drag I remember a video from years ago where Kanye was saying, uh-uh, don't y'all talk about these homosexuals? Uh-uh, he said, uh-uh, don't do it. Don't talk about the gays, but how the hell are you gonna be a preacher? 
Well, some, you know, some preachers do like the gays. <laughs> some do, some don't. Some really do. Huh? Who is that? Okay. Oh, hey, how you doing? <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, I know. I, I, yeah, the pastor from New Birth. How you doing? Yes, I was just about to talk about Eddie Long. He was very gay friendly, they say. <laughs> you a mess. Jamal Bryan, you's a mess. You got your stuff straight. You and you and you and your old uh, Giselle, y'all sure been quiet lately. <laughs> yeah, they can hear they can hear you. Yeah. You say what? Jamal, get off of here with your sexy self. <laughs> you know, you're supposed to be saved talking to me like that. Mm, I'll be off in a minute. We'll talk. <laughs> Bye, Jamal. Yo, mess. <laughs> okay, I'll call you. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh, hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Who's this? Oh, um, hey, Giselle. No, I wasn't flirting with him. He was saying something in my ear and it made me tickle. Anyway, look, Giselle, don't have me come over there. Don't have me come over there. No, he didn't say anything out of line. He was just, J Jamal Bryan is very flirty, but he's a flirty in the churchy flirty type way. Because he flirts with Gary with the T. That's what Gary told me. <laughs> you don't like it in a fun way. No, I never assumed that he was a homosexual. Bye, Giselle. Bye-bye-bye. Bye-bye-bye-bye-bye-bye. Bye, Giselle. Bye. Uh, he's still not. Anyway, y'all. Anyway, so uh, yes, I did get me a new iPhone. Here it is. It's the little small one. Uh, the regular price for the phone, y'all. That's been that's been it for the entertainment news. The, the, the regular price for the phone is like four or five hundred dollars, but I got it for fifty bucks. Yeah, because I switched to a new carrier. I can't afford no four or five hundred dollar phone. So I got the phone. I'm using it. I hope you guys see how nice and clear this is. I can't wait to get the new, the brand new iPhone the, with the five G. Like the, what is it, that 11X R7 or whatever, child, I would love one of them. Anyway, I PT with all the latest entertainment news and gossip. Please go down below and make a comment. Please go down below and follow my other YouTube channel. It's called PT's TV. And again, this Saturday at 5.30, I'm going to be doing a fundraiser for my friend Mark. You know, he is dealing with uh, stage four cancer. And his aunt is going to match whatever I get in drag and make. So make sure you guys tune in right here on this channel at 5.30. And also, guys, I'm on my way to Atlanta for my birthday weekend. Oh, yeah. Just call it out, bitch. Looking for sponsors. You want to sponsor me for my birthday celebration? I'm ready to get the 60th on the ground. I'm ready to get it going. By the way, if you plan on going to Atlanta, the tickets are only $150. That's just one way, okay? One way. So go ahead and get your tickets now. July the 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th, Atlanta, Georgia, all right? I'm PT with all the latest entertainment news and gossip. Whatever you do, make sure you tell everybody about PT's Showbiz Top 5. And I'll see you guys on the next go-round. See you soon. Tomorrow's Friday.